Hello my dear friend, this is Rakesh and welcome to the part 2 of the ASP.NET Core 2.0 video series. In this uh, video, in the current video, I will create a project using the ASP.NET Core 2.0 uh, and the Razor pages. Uh, and uh, I will use the Video Studio 2017 to create the project. And uh, if you have, if you are not having the Visual Studio 2017, then you can use the um, Visual Studio 2015, and uh, you have to install the .NET Core SDK 2.0 in that, in order to use the Core 2.0 features, right? So without wasting the time, let's flip to the Visual Studio. I will click, and Visual Studio is open now, and uh, go to the File New Project. And uh, see uh, here we are having uh, Visual C Sharp, Visual Basic, BB, and Visual App Sharp projects available in this template. So when I click on this Visual Basic, and I'm able to see the ASP.NET Core web application. This template is used to create the core project using uh, core project in the 2017. So you can uh, read the, uh, this explanation over here. B uh, project template for getting the ASP.NET Core application for the Windows, Linux, and Mac using the .NET Core and .NET Framework. So in the earlier project, uh, earlier frame, uh, sorry, video, I have explained that we have the flexibility to use the .NET Framework or the uh, ASP.NET Core Framework. So we can select either of them. And in the next template, we can uh, create the MBC applications or uh, RESTful service as we were doing earlier so on if we are we have to go with the core application then we have to select only this template so let's check uh, with the visual basic that these two templates are available over there if I select the visual basic then I can see only this uh, ASP.NET framework application like MBC or web API restful services but I'm not able to see the core application right Core is there, it's but it's console application. But web app, web application is not feasible using the core. Uh, you, uh, using the C sharp. In the in the C sharp, you can see that in this template this template is always there. ASP .NET Core web application, but in the Visual Basic and in App Sharp, it's not there. So we can say that Microsoft uh, have done um, make the bye bye to the Visual Basic and other. And uh, web application, if you want to uh, create that web application, then only feasible with the C sharp template. So I'll select this ASP.NET Core and uh, I'll give the path where I want to create this application and uh, application name, right? So I've selected the name uh, Core application. I'll click on the OK. And the new pop-up appears in front of me. Here, it, it I have the option either I can go with the .NET Core framework or ASP.NET framework or ASP.NET Core 2.0. So I will select it with the ASP.NET Core framework. And here we are having the multiple frameworks over there. So we can create the empty ASP.NET Core project. We can create the RESTful services using the um, ASP.NET Core and uh, here's a we can create the default project using the razor pages and this is um, again the sp.net core but uh, using the controllers and view like the our mbc application in um, like the mbc application you will be able to see the controllers and the view same structure over there but in this case you will be able to see the razor pages along with this you are also having uh, the support of the angular and the react js client side frameworks and you can also develop the application in um, ASP.NET Core using the Angular and using the ReactJS client side frameworks. And uh, once I select this, I will go with the web application, uh, ASP.NET Core Razor Pages Content Application. This is uh, an authentication as we are using in the MBC, no authentication, digital authentication, different ways of doing the authentications and you can choose the authentication as uh, per your requirement and this is enable docker support docker support is basically used for uh, hosting and uh, earlier 
uh, in the uh, sp.net core 1.0 and 1.1 only linux container was available for the docker support windows support was not there so in the current version of the sp.net core 2.0 uh, the docker support for the windows uh, is also introduced so it is basically used for the hosting so i think this is enough for the right now and uh, i'll create a separate video in the next coming se in series so i will discuss in detail that how we can use this docker support right so i will select on this and i will click on ok so it will create a default project for me so now the project is ready and uh, when i saw over here i can see the different pages i can see the startup page is there program is there bundle config application uh, app setting json file is added two json file and two c sharp files are added and one folder is there and it's a pages and the one ww root is there so root is containing some css images and all stuff and what's this what's inside this page page contains all our pages our razor pages right so now let's try to build this project uh, i'll control shift b i will go with the rebuild and it will start building my project a build have been started now so it will take a few seconds as per uh, the hardware requirement and your hardware um, of your machine and now it have been succeeded so let's uh, run this using the f5 so it is running So it's taking time because uh, it's uh, running at the first time i'm able to i'm getting this message chrome script is enabled in the visual studio debugging is i'm getting this message earlier message in the chrome because uh, uh, debugging purpose is enabled right now in the visual studio we can uh, disable that so i can serve the different pages right and uh, it's fine and if i want to make any change over there then it's not feasible using the f5 so in that case i have to run the application in non debugging mode control f5 in that case application will launch but still be i will be able to make any change in the application save that and just refresh this page you will be able to see the your changes over the browser and uh, apart from this i, I want to say that uh, this is a program file in which contains the main main as like we are having the main in the console application and which is having which is launching build web host in build web host we are launching the create default builder method of the web host this create default builder method will launch the application builder and it is mainly responsible for um, launching our application in the web browser right so this is the first um, part which is being uh, invoked at the very beginning and it is similar to the application application start event like in our traditional uh, uh, global uh, application we are having the global.asx file in, in global.asx file we were having the application start event and that application start event was launching at very first in the web application in the similar way we are uh, here uh, the main will launch and after this this main will uh, make a call uh, to this default builder which will launch our uh, application builder and our application will be visible in your browser and further number of actions will be services will be restarted but the first action will be here uh, launched here first call will go to the this so we are having this default structure over here and I will discuss this uh, all the files and all, all these things uh, which are available defaultly in the solution one by one and then we will proceed with the, our custom code in this so what we learn um, in the um, current video so let me do the F5 on this and what we will have learned in the current video we learned that we create a ASP.NET 2.0 project using the Visual Studio and I have told you that if you are using the Visual Studio 2015 then you have to install the .NET Core SDK 2.0 in your 
virtual machine and sp.net code web application can only be created with c sharp and we have also have observed that uh, we are not having this template in the bb and f sharp only the c sharp web application in the code development is only available in c sharp and apart from this we also have discussed that we can run that f5 using f5 we run the application and using uh, when we run the application using the f5 we were not able to make any change in over there and i told you that using the control f5 we can run the application in non debugging mode and we can make any changes in the view in the um, any of the um, backend file we can save and after that uh, we can refresh the browser and we can see the changes immediately right so this is uh, these are the two different ways to run the application so these are not uh, being introduced right now but you can if you are working with the dotnet or mbc any of the uh, application then it's it was also available in the previous uh, versions right so apart from this we have also discussed that main program block which get fired at first so we have seen that this is the main block and in this main block we make a call to the web build web host and this build web host again can make a call to the create default builder method of the web host which launch our application in the web browser and this is the first method which is launched uh, in the sp.net core uh, 2.0 razor pages application so and apart from this we have added a solution over here in a default project and in the next video i will cover each and uh, other rest of the files www root pages and con ape config program stats and bundle files what are the significance of these and what's written inside this and after that uh, i'll start doing the custom code in this and uh, we will create a product and project in this so friends uh, please motivate me by doing the like and subscribe and if you have uh, any queries and suggestions then please write in the comments comment section i will try my level best to answer on those uh, queries and uh, see you uh, in the next video till then take care and bye